Okay, so the timer just went off on the uh, Crock-Pot Express making the mac and cheese. So I'm going to let it do about a two-minute slow release here. I've cooked it for 15 minutes on low pressure on multigrain. And once it is slow released, then I'll open the vent to depressurize it and drain the pasta and we'll come back and continue the assembly. We've done a slow release on the pasta. That's what it looks like. Now we're going to go ahead and drain it. I don't drain it completely. I leave some of the pasta water in because that helps the cheese and the uh, sauce to bind. Okay, we've added a tablespoon of butter. I'm going to add for a pound of pasta, probably about a third of a cup of milk. We've added about a cup and a half of grated cheddar and about a half a cup of mozzarella. There's enough residual heat in the pasta where you don't need to really put it back in the instant pot to mix it through and melt the cheese. So now it's just a matter of some good mixing here. Get the cheese all down through the pasta so it can be melting. You can already see the cheese starting to melt. And again, the key is to be firm, but you don't want to break up your pasta. And you can add more or less cheese to taste. I'm a cheesy kind of guy, so. <laughs> what I've done to make it easy is I set the pot down in the sink. That makes it easy for me to see and to film. I'm doing this one-handed, so. And you can see it all coming together with that nice cheesy pull. See how much cheese is melting so nicely and I haven't added any more heat to it. Just work it, work it, work it. Now if you really want to make this the bomb, put it in a casserole dish and top with uh, some grated parmesan and some breadcrumbs and bake it. That'll give you a nice crispy crust on the top. But there you can see it's coming together. And as it sits, it will thicken up. But there you can see how nice that's come out. I want you to see just how cheesy that is. Now we're going to do a little taste test here. At this point, I've not added any more seasoning to it. But you see that beautiful cheese pull? Look at that. Just a touch more salt, a little bit of black pepper. Oh, buddy, you have arrived. So, hope you'll try this recipe out. Very easy to do. And everybody have a great day. And we'll see you in the next episode.